Hello everyone and welcome to a video series on the TradeZero Pro professional trading platform. I'm going to show you how to configure each window and all the features available. We're going to start with the basics and as we move on we're going to build our layout, customize the windows and then we're going to save our configuration. Okay so the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to be working with the default layout. Uh, if you go to the top left hand corner here and click on the circle you can see that you have an option to save layout, open layout. So if you open layout, you can see here, this is our default layout. This is currently the, the, the layout that we're working on. And we're going to do, what we're going to do is we're going to close some of these windows and we're going to save our configuration, okay, to a new layout. This, this will still be available. So don't worry about anything. We're just going to be starting with a fresh screen and we're going to learn some of the features here on the level two so um, now that uh, we're starting with our new layout let's go ahead and save it i'm going to go ahead and just type in a new name first layout okay so now that we have this is our layout that we're going to be working on let's talk about the level two this is the level two and this displays all the ecns and exchanges all right um all these these are all the market per participants so what I want to do is let's type in let's see here AMD Siri we'll type in a few symbols here okay now if I wanted to go back to any of those symbols I can si simply click the drop down arrow here and it'll take me back to any previous symbol that we typed in for the day all right so this information that you see here, this is called the level one. This gray area here with all this information, you can see the net change, percent change, volume traded for the day, best bid and best ask prices. So this here, this left hand column has all the best bids that are available here. And on the right, we have all the offers. So you can see that there's a lot of different activity going on here. All right. This window right here is called order execution screen. Um, this displays the quantity, mark different market types, routes, etc. What we want to do is we want to click on the level two, right click, go to display preferences, and let's say, for example, we want to remove the timestamp here. We can uncheck this. All right, um, here we have order entry. So this is your order entry preference window. If you want to, uh, for example, if you wanted to remove that, you could just uncheck this. Um, we also have display order confirmation. Now the display order confirmation is uh, anytime you execute an order, you're gonna get a pop-up confirming the price. So let's just leave that on uh, because that might be useful, especially if you're a new trader it's good to know exactly what's going on before you place the trade. Okay, so let's go back to AMD. Let's talk about the level two data here. Um, the exchanges, the electronic exchanges. Now, these every we have a lot of activity now during the day, but after hours, um, the kind the activity kind of. Uh, winds down and there's only a limited uh, a sp supply of liquidity during during the those after hours or pre-market data okay so the electronic exchanges are available from 7 a.m. until 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time and include ARCA, BATS, EGEX, EJ, and NASDAQ alright um, so if I click right here just with my left mouse click um, I'm preferencing ten dollars and one cents all right and you can see that the order entry window right here um, if I were to click here at 965 that price will change too so anytime you click on the level two it's going to be a limit order um, if you wanted to change it to a market order you would have to click market order and then click on one of the buttons here for buy or sell or short. Okay, so let's just talk about AMD now. 
I want everyone to be aware that on the level two that when you're trading volatility is a factor it affects everyone on every platform so sometimes when you see the prices here you can see that the best offer now is ten dollars and two cents and there's a lot of shares here but since this is all electronically traded by the time that you click buy or hit your hotkey you might not get this price okay and that's called slippage the key difference between a market order and a limit order is that a market order is going to get you filled but it might be outside of the market you might not be happy with the price a limit order on the other hand will get you filled at that specific price if the shares are available what you see sometimes will not be what you get so in order to eliminate that if I click here at 1002 I have limit and the price is 1002 so for whatever reason if I try to purchase here 1002 and that level disappears I'm not going to get any share so I know this is we're one step ahead of ourselves right now but I just wanted to make that clear since we're focusing on the level two we want to understand how everything works the dynamics of everything how everything works and so we're going to go move on to our next um, title in the video series and so stay tuned for our next educational video using trade zero we're going to be reviewing how to link the level two to a chart and also review the different order types and portfolio window